Good evening, guys. Welcome back. Beltmark Bell here. Um, when last I left you, I had a couple of ideas floating around in the ether for nameplates. I had mentioned it briefly towards the end of my last one or two videos about nameplates. Um, I belong to two different wrestling belt collectors groups on Facebook, communities on Facebook, uh, NWO Belt Trading, uh, really great group of guys where no drama is allowed, drama being it doesn't matter what kind of belts you got, if you've got real, if you've got replicas, if you've got commemoratives, if you've got cardboard, if you've got whatever, all are welcome to be publicly posted, displayed with pride at NWO. Also, too, you can put up for sale posts, for trade posts, sales services, all kinds of things. It's a community about the hobby, and they're a great group of guys. The other group I belong to is Brothers of the Belt. Uh, Brothers of the Belt is a really great group of guys. Uh, same kind of uh, attitude as NWO, except not so much on the buy, sell, and trade side. More on the side of, we like really pretty, shiny things, and we want to see them photographed. And, and we like having them and holding them and touching them. And There you have it. Uh, anyway, today, nameplates, commemorative belts. You guys know I like doing the commemorative belt. You guys know the commemorative belt so far have allowed me to amass a collection of a certain size. And we're going to still grow from here. But I like the commemorative belts, but the commemorative belts a lot of times catch you in the rear end where you don't have options. Can't get side plates, can't get name plates, don't have gold tip, don't have. So today, wanted to go over name plates for a commemorative belt. This is my big gold commemorative. You guys have seen this on video before. Red crocodile backing. Yes, it's commemorative, and I could care less what you think. But anyway, uh, when I got this from AJSBelts.com, John had put on a, uh, a nice Triple H nameplate for me. But he did it in these vinyl, in these vinyl letters. And uh, one of the guys in NWO Belt Trading, Brothers of the Belt, a guy named Jerry Hart. Jerry Hart's a really cool guy. He operates a craft business called Evil Creations where he makes all kinds of really cool stuff. And one of the things he thought he could do, and do well, and he does, is make these little nameplates. Triple H. Now, this is my fault, but it had two cross screw uh, sledgehammers here and here before the T after the H. It had two cross sledgehammers here, but I screwed up the application of it and uh, wound up having to peel one off to make it look even. Anyway, that's me, not him. It looked great without it. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good without the cross hammers. Would have looked just as well, if not better, with the cross hammers. I screwed that up. But anyway, that's my big gold with Evil Creations Triple H nameplate on it. Now, what a good idea because this allows you to be creative. Hulk Hogan. Whoops. Hulk Hogan, cool font, could go on this one. Uh, I got a John Cena. I got a Seth Rollins. Although I think these are sized more for the United States title, but I also got an AJ Lee and a page, uh, page for my Deepest Championship, which you see right behind you. I haven't done it yet. I think I'm going to go do two names at once. Great idea, Jerry. Awesome stuff. I think I'm actually going to do that. That was hot. I may do two names at once. But there you have it. There's the big gold with the Triple H nameplate made by Evil Creations. I think they're doing these three names for $10, I think. Well worth it well worth it that's the big gold here's the United States I did the United States one as well I had time to do this one I haven't had time to do the divas you know 
day job, that kind of stuff, life. But anyway, there's the United States. You know this is, if you've seen the video, you know this is a commemorative also, but with a nice Cesaro nameplate. Now this one I've got modded up a little bit more in that I put the metal tip on it to make it more television accurate. Metal, three screws in the back, boom, nice, and a Cesaro nameplate. I remember when Cesaro held the United States Championship, Cesaro should be Intercontinental Champion by now. And if he's not soon, we riot. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to riot. That wouldn't be cool. But we're not going to be very happy about it. Uh, but anyway, there we go. Cesaro nameplate. United States commemorative title. Modded out with the gold tip. Thank you again to Evil Creations for sharing your idea and your product with me today. Very cool stuff. Uh, what do you see what I do to this Divas belt? If you could see what he did to it. What do you see what I do to mine? It's going to be great. I'm going to keep this one short. Real short. For brevity's sake. Uh, but also because I have some stuff coming up to you. Up for you. To you. For you. About the upcoming brand split. And the uh, a draft. Myself and Scooter Dust of the Scooter Dust Remix Show from Rabble.tv will be doing a fantasy draft coming up pretty soon. Probably within the next couple of days to a week or so. Uh, I'm excited about the brand split. I hope you are too. I've got some thoughts on it. Can't wait for you to hear them. Uh, but Jerry, Jerry and Evil Creations, what a great job. Thank you very much. Look at that. Great stuff. Great stuff. Thank you so much for your product and for your, uh, for your idea. I had a really great time with it. I hope everybody out there liked it. I'm going to keep this one short. Beltmark Bell. Find me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Give me a comment. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. I sleep well either way. Uh, again, Beltmark Bell. Bell out. Signing out. Talk to you soon.